the Stonewall Riot. In 1969, it was an opportunity to make a statement. Sometimes somebody needs to make some noise. It's the first time that gay people stood up. It changed everything. There comes a point where you have to take responsibility for one another and what kind of future you're going to have. Gay people have nothing, but they're still willing to give everything. It's very, very easy when you're working for a very good director. There's a passion in what's being told in a story. When you, the actor, are feeling comfortable, then that's when you're doing your best work. He really let me create that character. He just trusted me. This is really his piece and his baby. This was a very important story to him. He has visited the Gay and Lesbian Center and he has realized that to this day there is still 40% of homeless youth that is LGBT. We need to bring a certain level of awareness. Of course, the truth is you ain't going nowhere other than the street, just like the rest of us. Everyone in this room think they're on the way to somewhere better. But I have not seen one dream come true on Christopher Street, baby. Not one. It's just a tragedy of being born homosexual into a society which doesn't accept it. People going to see this movie, they're going to see that these characters are just normal people like everyone else. I'm just so humbled to be a part of this. It's not an easy story to tell. He's really known for these big, sweeping disaster pictures. This is nothing like he's ever done, really. I love to make these smaller pictures. In these smaller films, you have this feeling you doing something, which is what you love to do. And that's like a, just a joy. He loves the story very much and is personally passionate about it. He did a beautiful job with this film. As a gay man, I felt this is an important story to tell. 